Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn about API chaining in our sample REST API testing project in Catalon Studio. And API chaining means how can we extract a value from the response of one API and then pass that value to the request of any subsequent API. So this can be very easily done in Catalon Studio. Let us see how to do that. I will go to my Catalon Studio and I am using version 5.0. 8.4 of Catalon Studio and here I have already created a project in my last session and we have added some sample REST APIs and I will just show you the website from where I have added so if we search for sample REST API for testing we have this REQ RES this website it has some very good sample REST APIs that we are using for our test let us go here and here we have these APIs and I have already added test users and create user in our last session and you can see this here and I'm going to add a update API which is HTTP put method and I will take this URL from here paste it in a new tab and then I will also take this endpoint for this put request and paste it here and this is my API URL so I'm going to add this new web service I will say new web service request and this is update user this is the URL and say ok and I will change the HTTP method to put and now I have to provide a HTTP body which I will take from here so this is the body I will provide it here and I will make this as JSON so this is our put request and if I run this it should give us a response with a valid HTTP code and you can see the HTTP status is 200 and we are getting this API ran successfully if I change the name here and if I run this I should get the same name in the response so let us just verify and yes I am getting the response name in the response so this is fine now so what I have to do here is here we are hard coding this name so instead of hard coding what I want to do is I want to run this list user API so if I run this API in the response I get a list of users so let me just show you you can see we get a list of users I want to take any name from here and then provide this name into the update user API here in the name element and this should run with that particular name so for that what I have to do is the first thing is instead of hard coding this value I will refer it from a variable so I will say dollar and curly braces and inside this I will give some variable name I will say username here and the same thing the same name I will go to variables and say add and give the name here username and here I can select the type I can select string number boolean global variables so I'm going to get it from a global variable so for that what I will do is I'll go to profiles and a default profile is already there here I'm going to add this variable I can give any name I'm saying username and let me say the value is ABC and say OK and save this and I will go back to my update user and here now in the default value if I go to the drop down I can see my global variable I am going to select this and now let me try to run this to verify this should run with ABC and yes this is running fine so we are now referring this name from a variable so now what I am going to do is I am going to run this API first in our test case which is list users extract the value which is any of this username and then provide that value to the global variable which is username and from there it will be referred in our second API which is update user so let me create a test case now I will create a new test case which is API chaining demo and I am going to send the request list user first and here in the output I am going to store the output in a variable called response1 so if I go to the script view 
I will minimize the import statement and you can see here this is the statement I am calling the list user API and then storing the response in a variable called response one now after this I have to parse this response to get the particular value of a username so here we are going to use a JSON slurper so you can just search for groovy JSON slurper and you will get a lot of uh, information online how to use groovy JSON slurper and here is a very good article you can watch this you can read about this here so you can see passing and producing JSON how you can pass a JSON response using JSON slurper and here actually it is very easy you just have to use these two statements so what I'm doing here is I am saying new new groovy dot json dot slurper and creating a variable slurper and then using this I am saying pass text and response one is my variable where I have stored the response from the API and I am saying get response body content and now using the result I can extract the value so let me say I say uh, I create a variable let me just quickly create a variable value and I will say this is equal to result dot and now we have to give the JSON path so if I go to list user API this is my JSON and I have to extract some particular name for example Tracy I want to extract so I will there are multiple ways I will copy this and you can search for JSON path finder so this is a here you can get the JSON path so I'm just going to uh, paste my JSON path and here if I go to data and here you can see this is Tracy if I click here it is giving me the path of this particular element now in Catalon Studio it makes it very easy what you can do is you can directly go to the API run the request you will get the response go to verification and here you have verification snippets you can select JSON value check or you can directly click on the element and press command plus K key on your keyboard if you are on Mac if you are on Windows you can press Control plus K key and it will give you this snippet where it also gives you the location of that particular element so this is the location I'm just going to copy this so you can copy it from here or it from here it is the same and I'm going to the test case and I will give it here so result dot the JSON path and I am storing it in value let me also print this to verify I will say print ln and I will say value extracted is and value so let me save this and run this before adding the next API I just want to verify that the value is extracted properly so this is running now and this is fine I will go to the console and check and you can see it is extracting Tracy which is fine and now I just have to give this value to my global variable so I will say global variable dot the variable name which is username equals to this value and again to verify I can print the global variable I will say global variable is and I will say global variable dot username so I will save this and let me run this again just to verify the global variable is set properly and this is running fine let me go to the console and check and yes you can see global variable is set to Tracy which is fine so now I just have to call my next API which is update user and I will go to my test case and I'm just going to call my API so instead of send request I will select send request and verify which will also take into consideration the verification snippets that we have added and I will select update user and of course to check that we are getting Tracy in the update user in the verifications 
I will say here I will say command K to get this verify element property and here I should get Tracy let me just verify the spelling so here it should be this one yes so I will save this and if I run my test case now this one API chaining demo you can see we are running all our APIs the second one here and we are seeing send request and verify this will pass only when the verification snippets are also uh, also passed successfully and let us just wait and check so you can see the log viewer it is running and everything is okay you can see the verification is also done properly and verification is fine so we are able to extract the value from our first API which is list users and able to give it to the second API which is update user so this is how you can do API chaining with REST APIs in Catalon Studio I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching